But anyway, I'm John Burke, I'm GM of Apiary Developments for Convita, um, in charge of their uh, subsidiary company KiwiBee. So uh, we run about 15,000 hives and also looking after our plant plantation manuka developments. So uh, just a, a quick background, Convita is uh, listed on the stock exchange. Um, it's the largest company involved in the Manuka honey market. We, hand, we export about 60-70% uh, of total Manuka um, produced in New Zealand. Uh, we're, it's a real good story, Convita, and I'll, I could spend another half an hour on that one, but um, uh, it, it started in the marketplace basically, and it's a, it's a primary sector industry that is focused on the market. It's got retail stores in, in Asia, so its supply chain goes straight to retail in, in a lot of its uh, markets. Uh, and, it's a, and it's a company that um, is actually short supplied, so a uh, pretty cool story. Um, about six years ago, um, and Jonathan will talk to you about this, we started looking at um, field analysis of Leptospermium scoparium, um, and we uh, have also invested heavily in, uh, in a breeding program to, to um, evaluate UMF in harvested honey. Um, as part of that, we, in, in 2010, we began uh, field trials on actually planting plantation manuka out in the field to try and see what's happening in the, in the real life environment. Um, and more recently, um, in 2011, we entered a PGP program, um, which has got a further streams of work involved in evaluating um, manuka from our, um, our evolution into a commercial program. Just looking at the marking, market situation and timeliness, the graph on the left there, uh, the blue dots there um, are showing um, manuka processed with some blue, uh, gr blue squares, if you can see them there, looking at our um, probably our current supply. But we think uh, with a compound average growth rate, which could be up to 20% or more, we are severely undersupplied going forward. So um, to fill that gap, we need to start looking at uh, other sources of, of manuka, which naturally would be um, plantation development. Um, and of course, it's driven by pricing, and that pricing is driven by supply. But uh, those, you can see the graph on the left there showing um, a range in prices per kilo for 10 plus UMF, 20 plus UMF manuka. And those are actually a bit out of date. The, the prices are a lot higher than that. That we, we are paying a bit more than that. Um, so social timeliness, we've been talking today um, about what we can do on our farms, but also more, more looking at land use um, capability and evaluating farms on a, on a sectional basis and saying, well, what am I getting out of that footprint on my farm and what is it doing in terms of the environment with erosion, etc. So uh, one of the things we're going to really talk to you about today is commercial trials, because that's real life happening out on farms. Um, and I have to stress it's work in progress. We, we figure that it's going to take five years, uh, maybe even more, to start to gather really robust data around um, the, uh, the establishment, the propagation, um, the parameters, and also the business case for, um, for growing manuka. So uh, what we're looking at is, in terms of these commercial trials, is best practice propagation, trying to establish that, best practice plantation establishment, um, assessing cultivar and hybrid performance. So we have got cultivars, these are provenances from seed source varieties, but we also, in our plant breeding program, we also have hybrids, which we have bred, which um, are under plant variety rights. Um, out of that building flowering and production profile and parameters, so we can do budgets on, in various um, aspects of farms and maybe have a, um, a decision support model to support that. Um, and ultimately uh, proving the business case from field data, so the proof of concept around the economics of growing plantation manuka. A bit like the forestry industry probably went through years ago with, uh, with Pinus radiata. So I'll hand you over to Jonathan. I want Jonathan Jonathan's going to talk to you about the science side of it.